Yo, I have a question. How much you guys get paid? Like, I heard YouTubers get paid a lot. How much you, how much you, how much you get, how much you get paid? Yo, designers, how's it going? I feel like it's been a while since I last just looked at the camera and talked to you guys. Today I'm gonna do my first ever Q&A on YouTube. It's actually a Snapchat Q&A. You guys sent me the questions on Snap and I'm gonna answer them on YouTube. But first ever, nonetheless. First things first, shout out to the raps. You know I gotta rep, gotta rep the city, gotta rep the country. All right, so I did ask you guys to ask me a bunch of questions on Snapchat. I made sure to tell you guys, send me videos. I'm not posting screenshots of these type questions. That's boring. I wanna see videos. I wanna see some filters. I wanna see, you know. So a lot of you guys did come through with the videos. So without further ado, let's get right into it. Hey Deej, um, I was wondering if you ever plan on moving away from Toronto, cause, ah, uh, okay, that's my question. <laughs> Am I planning on moving away from Toronto? Yes, 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 I am planning on it. In a week, I'll be getting the rest of my stuff from Toronto and bringing it into what you are now seeing right now, which is my new house. Right now is a pretty pivotal moment for us and I just wanna be with the guys so we can work hard together and grow and then best believe I'm gonna get my ass right back to Toronto. Don't you worry. Yo, DJ, for the Snapchat q and I have a question. What color socks are you <laughs> What color socks am I wearing? Well, what are they? Is Team Elbow ever gonna have a meetup in Toronto? Cause that'd be great, thanks. Cause that'd be great. We wanna do meetups ASAP and places like Montreal, Toronto, Ottawa, that's really easy for us because it's local. We will eventually be doing a meetup in Toronto. I will be doing my first meetup, I think in Toronto, I think in June, we'll see, stay tuned. Dude, what is the biggest challenge you face in making videos? Ooh. I think the challenges I'm facing are changing as I grow on YouTube. I was really having issues with thinking of ideas and thinking of things to film like every few days. Like, that was my biggest problem and I, I had time to do it too. I just didn't have ideas. I'm like, I don't know what to do next. But as I grew and I started getting more comfortable, I don't know, the ideas just came. Another pretty big challenge for someone who is a part-time YouTuber and part-time real life worker or regular job haver is balancing YouTube with work and whatever else you have to do with your life. When YouTube is your full-time job, it makes it a lot easier to just wake up in the morning, you're YouTubing, do what you need to do, get your shit done, and go to sleep every single day or every few days or however often you upload. When YouTube is your side thing, it's really hard to manage your time, like it gets super hard to manage like girlfriend, gym, if you play sports, if you got school, if you, all these things, it's really hard. But I'm definitely finding a balance lately because uh, I can edit faster. I know exactly how I'm doing what I'm doing. Another response I have to biggest challenge, trying to keep my YouTube page about me. And that was a challenge at one point, trying to find my own thing, my own vibe on YouTube. I don't know if you guys have noticed, but my videos are getting a little more DJ-esque. Someone offered to pay for your ticket to go absolutely anywhere in the world, where would you choose to go? Where would I go anywhere for free? Fortunately, it wouldn't be, it would be outside of Canada. Sorry, Canada, I love you. But if I'm gonna, you know, milk someone's plane fare. Okay, I would go to Europe because if you go to Europe, like getting to Europe is mad expensive from where I am. When you're there, you can get from place to place to place to place pretty quickly and it's super cheap. Yeah, Europe, so anywhere in Europe, anywhere. I would just like get there, get to Europe and then I'd go ham, I'd go to the, you know, Paris, all these places. Do you still hope to be an interior designer one day? Yeah! You know it. Interior designer, that is my end, end, end goal. What I wanna be doing is interior design. I've been into that for years, 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 and I really wanna make sure that that's what I end up doing because I love, love, love interior design. It's a passion. What is your favorite TV show? Love Team Elbow, see you later. What's your favorite video game? When did you get your first video game console and what console was it? Yo, <laughs> this guy went in and asked 18 questions. Ah, uh, Family Guy. Family Guy is my favorite TV show, for sure. I don't even know why I have to think about that. All around, go to, I can watch it anytime. Family Guy, for sure. Favorite video game, Halo. Halo Reach would be my favorite game. I'm only now gonna start getting into games again. I haven't been playing games. I only play NHL. That's the only thing I play. But back in the day when I was a gamer. 
Yo, Team Albo's the best, bro. Especially you, Deej. How did you meet Charlie? Charlie's whole family came to the school that I went to. I was better friends with Charlie's older brother, but I in turn met Charlie, so that's around one. So when I was in grade four, so Charlie was in grade like. Hey DJ, um, one thing I want to ask is what are tips to start a YouTube channel? If you want to make a YouTube channel, make a YouTube channel and drop mad videos and learn how to edit and just do all that stuff and just grind. Don't do it for the money. I know that sounds cliche, but honestly, if you do it for the money, you're going to be so frustrated for the first like. Do it because you want to do it for whatever reason, whether it be to get your mind off something else, maybe to make other people laugh, to make yourself laugh, maybe just to have memories, to keep memories on the internet, store them, whatever. Definitely watch a lot of YouTube, practice editing, practice and practice. I myself have been mid-edit in a video, like I have been editing for three and a half hours already and I just need to do one little thing that I don't know how to do and I'll pause that whole edit and watch a 35 minute tutorial on YouTube about some little thing. So learn how to edit and master that. Like don't drop a video here and then three videos back to back and then no video for three weeks and then a video here, like you can't do that. Be consistent. If it's gonna be once a week, make sure it's once a week. And yeah, and don't worry too much about hate comments and shit like that. Do you plan on doing collabs with other YouTubers? I do plan on doing that eventually because it's just a good idea. So obviously I'm gonna do that eventually. I've only been dropping videos on my own channel for less than a year. So my goal right now is to kind of just flood the streets with Deej Design, you know what I mean? Like I just wanna make sure to put mad videos out. I'm trying to stay away from having a bunch of people come on my channel and uh, promoting a bunch of things on my channel to you guys. Like I'm trying to stay away from that for now. I'm definitely gonna get into that soon. You know, I gotta pay these bills and I gotta link up with other YouTubers and collab and stuff. So I'm definitely gonna be doing that very shortly. But for this year that I've been coming up, that was my whole vibe. Like kind of just keep it about me and maybe my close, very immediate friends. So I'm gonna start doing some new things for sure, collabing with people. It's a slow start, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna start doing it, don't worry. What was your most fondest memory in high school? My fondest memory of high school was walking across the stage and grabbing my diploma. It took me so much work to get to that point because I slacked all through school and then grade 12, I snapped and I just grinded. And to get that diploma, it was like, it was work. I had to, I had to do a lot. I had to do like night schools and after school and all these things. It was a super tough journey, so that'll probably be my most fondest or fondest memory of high school. Where would you like to travel to the most and why? I can't think of a specific place, but anywhere with nice weather, like it's gotta have amazing weather. I'm from Canada, I'm sick and tired of the snow. So if I go somewhere, it's gotta have great weather. Probably not somewhere that's that has like a city vibe, like probably somewhere like Thailand or you know some Fiji islands, something like that, something tropical. What's your favorite movie? Driving and snapping, reckless. My favorite movie is uh, Catch Me If You Can, starring Tom Hanks and Leonardo DiCaprio, the G. Great movie. Second favorite movie, Super Bad. So if you can collab with any YouTuber, who would it be and why? That's a pretty good question because the people that I would rather collab with, it's not necessarily because they're the biggest people. Like for example, I watch Casey Neistat all the time. I watch all, every single one of his videos, but I wouldn't collab, like why, like I wouldn't collab with it. Maybe for the shout outs. As far as making a video that I would love to put on my channel, I just feel like when you're making a YouTube video, the vibes have to be right. I've watched the videos where like, the chemistry doesn't look right. Like today I'm with, what'd you say your name was again? We'll, we'll edit this out. So I would love to collab with somebody who I feel like I could uh, get along with, first and foremost. Uh, understands my jokes, I understand their jokes. Somebody like For Y'all or even other people from Toronto. Bad Dude McFly, obviously. We did just collab and that worked out very well. Yo, DJ Design, it's your boy Kazzy. What's going on? I got a quick question for you. Uh, if you could interview one person in the world, who would it be and why? First of all, that was an old high school friend, so shout out to Kazzy. What up? Interviewing is so not my thing. I, I I get so like, oh, I don't like it. I don't like talking to like random people and just interviewing people. But if I were to interview someone just like on a one-on-one -on -one kind of thing, not like cameras and stuff, man, it would be Drake for sure. Because I just feel like for someone to grow up in a place and just slowly, not even that slowly, just kind of grow bigger and bigger and just take over that place that he's from. I just feel like he's such a calculated person and so strategic 
that I would like to know how he got to the point in life, where he is right now, what he plans on doing in the future, just like how he masterminds the situations that he gets himself into. Like, I don't, I, how do you get the key to the city? How do you become the ambassador of your team's sports? Hey, DJ, I'm with my friend Wolfie. Follow us on Instagram. Um, we want to know who is your favorite member of Team, team Albo. Nice. They're definitely trolling because that is a classic question that each of us get. Hey DJ, I just wanted to know what the best part about being in Team Albo is. Best thing about being in Albo, definitely, it's very easy, is the uh, the support. The level of support between the five of us is insane. It's just very easy to be around a group of guys who are all doing the very same thing as you. Super easy and very motivating. The support's awesome and that's probably the best thing about being friends with Team Albo. Guys, so did you guys think you'll get this much popularity or did you guys think that you'll get this far on YouTube? Um, wow, good question. I, ne I never thought about me myself having, what do I have, like 60 something thousand subscribers? Literally a month ago, two months ago, that shit was crazy, that thought. Because when I was first in the album videos, I didn't have a channel, Sean didn't have a channel, Jad wasn't dropping videos. Like, it, it was just, it's cool to see, like, the whole crew individually popping off. And no, I did not see it coming, but it's dope that it's happening. And now that it's happening, I see greatness in our future. But before, it was just like, let's just make these videos and make people laugh. You had to choose between listening to Drake or Kanye for the rest of your life. No other music. Who would you choose and why? Actually, I don't know why I'm acting like that's a hard one. First of all, shouts to Shaheen as well. That is a very, a very easy question to answer. Drake, for sure. As far as music that I want to like listen to over and over and over again, it's like the, the replayability of Drake songs kills that of Kanye songs by a long shot. Like, I, you know, I love Kanye's tracks and everything. Yo, DJ, does any of this look familiar to you, dog? Yo, DJ. People want to know, what's your favorite Toast of Strudel flavor? Another one. Shout out to my boy Bongo, he's one of my best friends in the world. You guys will start seeing him quite a bit, especially now that I moved to Ottawa. What's my favorite Toaster Strudel? Ooh, easy, limited ass edition, the one with the cream cheese and the strawberry. You guys don't even know about that one. All they got is, all they have is apple and the blueberry and the wild berry or something. There used to be a flavor, so it's like cream cheese, Jam in the middle, or strawberry or something, and cream cheese again. It was a banger. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching that Q&A. Make sure to leave a nice big old thumbs up for me if you enjoyed it. And if you didn't enjoy it, just go ahead and leave a thumbs up anyways. Make sure to follow me on Snapchat. You'll know when I'm looking for questions for the next Q&A. And B, I just take dope snap. Wow. I just bit the inside of my mouth. Ow, ow. Uh, anyways, I take awesome snaps, guys. Make sure to follow me on Snapchat. I'll put the snap code right here. To make it super easy on you guys, if you're watching this on your computer, you can actually take your phone and scan the snap code itself, and it'll scan it, it'll add me right away. Otherwise, the username is Deej Design. It's the same for everything, Twitter, Instagram, Periscope. Let's get interactive, let's be friends. Ask me mad questions down below in these comments. Maybe next week if I'm gonna do a q and I'll grab them from here, maybe from Twitter, we'll see. Thank you guys again so much for watching, and until next time, don't sleep, fam.